Hi everyone, I am Gautam and I am physics faculty. Today I am going to discuss a chapter from intermediate first year that is motion in a straight line. I made this chapter into few parts. Today I am going to discuss the first part for you. In first part I have taken some topics that is first I will start with the rest. What is rest? A body is said to be rest means its position must not vary with respect to time and surroundings. Suppose I am standing like that. That means my position is not changing with respect to the time. Time is changing but my position is not changing. With respect to surroundings also I am in the same place. That means the body is said to be at rest. Then when the body is said to be in motion is nothing but the position is changing with respect to time and surroundings. Simple definition that is uh, position is not changing with respect to time and surroundings. The body is said to be at rest. The position is changing with respect to time and surroundings. We can call the body is in motion. So these are the two simple definitions for rest and motion. That is position varying with respect to time is motion. Position not varying with respect to time is called as rest. Now we will enter into a term called distance. What is distance? Distance is nothing but total path covered from initial point to final point. Suppose a person starts his journey. He travels from here to here. And again, he travel from here to here. So, the initial point is A. This is the point B. And this is the point C. The person travel from A to B, B to C. The total path, the total path from initial point to final point is called distance. The total path covered between initial point and final point is called distance distance so for distance what is the si unit si unit it is meter and cgs unit what is cgs unit it is centimeter and what type of quantity the distance is distance is a scalar quantity we will discuss only magnitude for distance we don't discuss direction so we call it as a scalar quantity, scalar quantity. That is about distance information. Distance is nothing but the total path covered by the body from initial point to final point is called as distance. Now we will enter into displacement. What do you mean by displacement? Displacement is nothing but shortest path covered between initial point to final point is called displacement. So this is the initial point. This is the final point. Actually the person travel like that from A to B, B to C. But the shortest path, that is from here to here, the shortest path, the shortest path, the shortest path is called as displacement, displacement. Displacement and how we can define as shortest path travel between initial point and final point. How to draw the shortest path? Just draw one straight line. So how you go like that, like that, like that, like that to travel, it doesn't matter. One straight line from initial to final if you draw, that is called as displacement. Displacement is shortest path covered between initial point to final point. Always it will be in what line? Straight line. Straight line. Displacement is always in a straight line. We will draw from initial to final point. One straight line. So its SI unit means anyhow displacement is also related to length. Same SI unit meter, CGS unit centimeter. But what about what type of quantity? When we are discussing the displacement, we are discussing about magnitude as well as direction. Direction also includes here. So we call it as 
वेक्टर क्वांटिटी आई थिंक यू नो अबाउट स्केलर एंड वेक्टर सो स्केलर मींस द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी व्हिच हैज ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड स्केलर व्हिच हैज बोथ मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन आल्सो सेटिस्फाइज लॉस ऑफ वेक्टर एडिशन those things we can go ahead in the next chapter motion plane there i will discuss in detail now this is a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity because it has magnitude as well as direction so you understood distance and displacement i feel now we will enter into what is the relation between distance and displacement so coming to the relation here if a body is moving in straight line if a body is moving in straight line in same direction it is moving in a straight line in same direction same direction straight line is moving shortest path is a low straight line also the body is also moving straight line that means i can say no difference between distance and displacement no difference between distance and displacement in straight line path so when we will have difference suppose it is moving in curved path it is not moving straight it is moving in arc or uh, that is semi circle or any other path then definitely displacement is shortest path shortest path means definitely it must be less than distance when it is moving in curved path so i can write now distance is greater than displacement distance is greater than displacement so straight line distance is equal to displacement curved path distance is greater than displacement so from these two conclusions i am going to write it as distance is greater than or equal to displacement distance is greater than or equal to displacement is it clear the relation between distance and displacement means distance is always greater or equal but nevertheless distance is greater or equal why displacement what we told shortest path shortest path means it will be less than distance or in straight line it can be equal to distance that is the relation between distance and displacement now what we are going to observe means we are going to observe some examples for distance and displacement i am taking one example now that is the body traveled in a semi circle semi circle i think you know about semi circle semi circle means angle subtended center is 180 degree and the radius of the circle let me take it as r the initial point is a it travel along the perimeter of the circle like that from a to the point b it travel like this on the curved path so what is the total distance means you know in a circle for a circle what is the distance covered in total the coming from one point to completing the circle means of radius r perimeter perimeter is 2 pi r semi circle from a to b half of the circle half of the circle means what should i write beta 2 pi r by 2 so 2 to get cancelled i can write pi r what about displacement displacement shortest path displacement is shortest path that is from a to b that means we can take a straight line straight line from a to b distance means total path displacement means shortest path it is a straight line already mentioned so straight line from a to b means it is diameter already this is radius of this one also will be radius of so total from here to here straight line means i can take r plus r that is nothing but 2r 2r is our displacement this is one example to explain distance and displacement now i will explain one more example one more example for you the basic example i will explain that a body travel 
from A to B 6 meters and B to C again it traveled 8 meters. The question is what is the distance and what is the displacement. So what we have to say about distance and displacement. Distance is shortest path. No displacement is shortest path. And what is the distance? Total path. Total path means A to B 6 meters. B to C 8 meters. 6 plus 8 14 meters. And displacement. Shortest distance between initial point and final point. Shortest distance between initial point and final point. Shortest path. Straight line. This is the displacement. So when we observe the displacement. What you have to do? You can observe here. Right angle triangle. That is right angle triangle. And what is this one? This is 6 meter, 8 meters. Pythagoras theorem. This is hypotenuse. So I can write 6 square plus 8 square. That is nothing but 10. So this is 6 meter, 8 meter. Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse. What we can write? Square root of 6 square plus 8 square. It is 10. So displacement is 10 meter. Like that, we discuss distance and displacement by taking two examples. So, in the part 1 of motion strike line, what I discussed is, I discussed about uh, first rest, motion, distance, displacement. In the next part, I will discuss speed, velocity, uniform speed, uniform velocity, average speed, average velocity in my part 2 class. So, I think this